Hello Capricorn, this is Solomon. I want to welcome you to Psychic Love Hills. Uh, these are going to be your readings for the week of energy readings for the week of February the 27th to March the 5th of 2017. So uh, what I will be doing for you is uh, pulling for you for Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday through Sunday. Okay, And I do feel that uh, some of you are uh, possibly dealing with, if you have not had uh, some kind of cold, some sinus problems, some kind of... Um, Headaches, maybe you're just feeling as though you just want to rest and reflect because you may have gone through some kind of breakup. You may be healing from some kind of um, pains with a relationship uh, issue. Uh, some of you may have actually lost um, a husband or a wife um, due to a transition and you're still healing from those kind of things. And uh, there's a need to kind of uh, meditate, pray, um, kind of heal, you know, try to gain that hope and inspiration uh, within yourself and you know, try to uh, be truthful with yourself, be truthful with your partner, um, and try to get over any kind of hurts and pains that you have experienced if there have been any kind of a deception or lies and, you know, people are being mistreated in certain situations. So um, I did want to mention that uh, from the 18th of February until March the 21st, the sun will be in Pisces, activating the third house of communication, okay? So lots of energy around communicating, around the home environment with siblings, um, unexpected guests of friends of family uh, will possibly show up around this time throughout the month. You may notice yourself speaking out more if you've been holding things in as well. So you can come through um, aggressively at times because of that sensitivity being amplified uh, with the Pisces sun. So um, just be mindful of that. And I just want to start out with you for Monday through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Appreciate you waiting while I sh shuffle. So Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday. Friday through Sunday. Okay. So, and I'm going to pull out three cards for you from Doreen Virtues, our Romance Angels cards as well, okay? So we do have True Love that says this is the romance of a lifetime. And this is uh, someone that you are you know, getting to know possibly right now. And uh, on a deeper level, for sure, you know that this person has your heart. Uh, you are intuitively, intuitively aware of that. Then we have unrequited love. It says there's not a love, um, enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So that's what I was meaning about uh, moving on and letting go of a relationship that has not been are very suitable for you. It's not worked out, you know, as, as long as you've tried giving your energy to it and just not working, then you have a very soon. It says, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now, all right? Along with that true love card, true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So this is for people that are in relationships. If you're in a marriage, um, there's good energy, but there does seem to be some doubt about the relationship and whether or not it's going to uh, work out for the long term. So Monday and Tuesday, the moon is in Pisces, and that's dealing with your third house of communication. Uh, lots of energy around the communication, around the home environment with your siblings and nephews and cousins or whatever it may be. So you have here the uh, moon as a major arcana. You have the three of pentacles, right? And then you have the... Uh, Knight of Cups in reverse. So there does seem to be some inner demons that you may be facing. And it could be a lot of um, anxieties going around uh, within you, within your relationship. And I do see like there's working together possibly with your partner. But there's also uh, some jealousy going on possibly in the relationship. Some possessiveness, uh, assumptions going on where there's a lack of trust uh, in the relationship with another person. And you could be dealing with a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Um, you could be dealing with a younger uh, child as well. This could be someone around the home environment. 
Um, but I do see some kind of uh, working together, building together. This is about expansion. It's about teamwork. Okay, it's about chemistry. It's about um, presenting your projects and things to a certain person or around the home to see if you want to make any kind of changes. Presenting something to or proposing something to your partner. And I'm really not sure if um, things are going to work out. Sometimes if you propose about a marriage or if you feel like you really love this person or you're really into them, you may feel as if this person is going to cheat on you, if they're going to walk out on you. And this is a lot of internal um, conflict and anxieties and fears that you, that we may have. Um, hidden enemies, things not being very clear. There could be something going on that's not very clear for some of you and this could be a lot of secrets and that's what i was thinking about deceptions or any kind of lies that are going on which is leading to any kind of um slow energy where the messages of love is not coming through sometimes um there are some delay delays with communication or if you're waiting to hear from someone it's not coming through right now so some of you could be feeling as if you just want to lay in bed feeling a bit depressed sometimes you'll go to work and then come back home and then you feel alone you know that kind of energy that's um, possibly going on with some of you, okay? So those are energies of uh, Monday and uh, uh, Monday and Tuesday. So that communication could be happening around that time as well. But even though it's communicating, there's not the complete truth may not be there with the moon, okay? A lot of uh, confusion around that. And we have here... For Wednesday and Thursday, okay, the moon will be in Aries and it's activating your fourth house of home and family, your roots. So we have the six of pentacles here. We have the ace of swords. And then we have the fool in reverse as a major arcana. So um, here is about if you've been very charitable, you know, giving out um, things uh, to help out other others who have who are not really able to take care of themselves and do for themselves if you've been very generous you know this is a time when things could come back to you someone could come around to bring you breakfast um cook you dinner or take you out a loan of some kind could come through to you you could be just given something as a gift um some kind of communication a new ideas um someone from the past someone from your in your present environment or situation could be coming through to ask some questions to kind of communicate to give you some kind of um good energy about something that's around the home as well so the fourth house is activated so a lot of energy from the aries moon there where there's uh, maybe a lot of work, a lot of moving around the home. But also, even though there's some good things going on, be uh, cautious about just taking things because from another person. It could be through manipulation where someone is just giving you something um, to kind of get what they want in a way. You see what I mean? Um, so you have to kind of use your intuition in that situation with the fool in reverse. That's a card of being naive, okay? Being a bit foolish, a risk taking. Uh, someone say someone from your past, the ex or someone returns and they say, I want to take you out. Let's go out and do something. He said, No strings attached. There's nothing there, you know. Um, but they have a hidden agenda. You know, they may want to, um, may want something to be more than it actually is. So just be intuitively aware at this time. But this is a very good card to see. Um, give and take, uh, receiving something of some kind. So this energy is um, uh, Wednesday and Thursday. All right, that's good energy. So a lot of communicative energy coming in or going out. A raw intellect, the truth being told about something and good energy coming your way. So we do have, and some of you could be dealing with an Aries. In reverse, it could be uh, very childlike, um, not mature um, sometimes in a way, or this could be your energy as well. Uh, so let's get into what's going on with you Friday through Saturday first. So Friday and Saturday, we have the moon in Taurus activating your fifth house of entertainment, love, children, uh, playfulness and creativity. So we have here the four swords in reverse. We have the lovers in reverse. And then we have death in reverse and remember I was talking about the um, sometimes not really being able to move on if you have lost someone if you're moving on from a past relationship and you're still thinking about this person over and over and over again sometimes this is thinking about how they've hurt you how they have cheated on you and how you're not able to kind of let go of, of that resentment or those pains sometimes this is really not being able to let go of even if it's minor things that could have been, even if it's lies, deceptions, maybe you're feeling like 
you'll be hurt again um, like you were in the past by someone and this is causing you to have a lot of trust issues in a relationship so some of you may have patterns where you're constantly in a three-way situation over and over again you keep running into the same kind of scenario or the same kind of situation with arguments continue to pop up in your relationships with a certain person all right so um they could be things that you could be actually experiencing so um sunday i just wanted to mention that we do have uh, the moon in gemini and that is bringing out your sixth house of work mental health the physical health fitness service to others as well so you know long as you move into this energy this is the card of gemini um for a lot of people uh, feel that way and then the card of scorpio is in reverse so you could be dealing with a scorpio or a gemini in the reverse position they're not happy with you right now or vice versa you're not happy with them it's like uh overthinking and over processing of how to kind of move past these resentments these the anger the uh, feelings that you have of regret, any kind of change that you're going, trying to find hope in the faith that things will be okay. And um, this could be that three, a three way situation that you are dealing with. You do have um, the three of pinnacles here. So um, there could be just some confusion around uh, whether or not something is really working, whether someone is a loyal, whether someone is lying or being manipulative. So uh, just uh, be aware of that. This is a good card to see here, true love. So try to focus and have faith in that if you know you are with someone right now, that you'll have the uh, intuitive insights and senses enough to know um, the dark from the light energy right now. Okay, so I hope that you have a fantastic week, Capricorn. Much love and much light. If you would like a private reading, you can always come to me via my Facebook page or you can email me to set something up that will be specific for you. And those links will be in the description of the video. Have a good one.